Alright, so this is a sneak peek of something I've been actually chasing for a while and thanks to a ton of help from uh, Frederick, uh, a lot of guidance, um, putting the code together, um, I've actually got it working. So this is coming to edit mode and it's a new color editing mode. Now this is different from color change in that this will let you edit the actual colors in the style and go to all possible colors. So this handles your color changes but it will also actually handle going to white or going to black. So you have the ability to also edit your white level or your black level, thereby covering all the possible colors on your blade. Um, now, this is early, so there's still a lot of work to do, um, but I do have the basic concept working. Um, so I wanted to kind of give a demo just because it's taken a while to get to this point. Um, but this is not the finished product, so it may be uh, a little glitchy in some spots. Um, that'll get cleaned up. Uh, but so right now I'm in normal color editing mode. Again, this is different than color change. Um, what I've done, one of the first things I've done is actually made this a dynamic control. And what that means is if you do normal rotation, you'll go through the color wheel. But it actually bases the amount of color change uh, or the, the colors that you're going to is actually based on how much you're turning that hill. So if you do really small subtle turns, it's actually going to be really, really fine-tuned. But if I do large turns, it'll jump through the colors. And the idea behind it is to let you get, so if you're in a specific spot and you want it to get to a certain color, instead of having to turn 360 degrees to get to a different color, you can do a large quick turn and it's going to jump. And then when you get in the color family that you want, you can use the slower turn to fine tune it and it's um, it correlates to the both how much you've turned but how quick you turn so if you do small slow turns you'll see it actually changes a little bit each time but if I do large turns it does bigger jumps and dialing this in will take some more uh, a lot more testing but the basic concepts working where I can make big moves into different colors and then when I get near a color I want, I can do smaller turns to actually dial it in. So it takes the idea of color zoom, but it makes it dynamic within the controls. So you can get to a specific color just by doing a little fine tune turn. And then, and then again, if I wanted to make a bigger change, I can just do a big quick turn. Now, in addition, all of your color editing is in this single mode. So if your blade is parallel, we're going to be editing the colors, just like you see, again, with the dynamic control. If I want to add white, so if I want to brighten this blade or actually get to white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt up. And you'll, it, you should hear it. It'll say white level. White level. So now I'm in white level. Now I can turn the blade. Edit color. Oops, I got out of it. Edit color. White level. There we go. So some of the controls are still in the works. But now I can actually turn the blade's brightness all the way up to just a, to white. And my battery's getting low, so you're going to see a little yellow in that blade. And then I can also turn it back down. Minimum setting. And then color. you can go tip back down to go into the edit color mode. You can edit your color. Again, with the dynamic control. And then now if I want to darken this or dim this blade, I'm going to tip it down. Black level. And this is, going to adjust the oops, this is going to adjust the black level. And what that does is it actually lets Minimum you dim. Session. So we don't go to Minimum black session. right now. Um, just because, the, uh, um, because when you go to black, it turns the blade off. So for right now, it's stopping at about 10%. Um, so it won't let you go Minimum any darker session. than that. But you can also color. bring it back up. Black level. Maximum and then you get to your color. top level. So now the, the prompts and all that, they're reacting because my angles are changing a little too quickly. Um, so that'll get dialed in. Uh, but so now you have the ability to dim your blade, control the black level by tipping down, rolling through, get to your white colors or whitish colors. So you tip up. I can brighten up that blade to like a silver. Edit color. Go down into my edit color range, and now you're going to edit through that silver kind of range. And then if I'm unhappy with it, I can go back up. White level. 
reduce that white level minimum setting. to the minimum, which means full color minimum essentially. Setting. And then go back and dial through all my colors. And again, it's going to be the controls will get dialed in a little bit more, but it is going to be based on how much you're turning. So quick turns, bigger jumps in color, small turns, more fine tuning. So still a lot to do on this. Um, and then once you get to the exact color you want, so you can get to your whites, you can get to your darker, you can get to the color. Um, you're going to have the ability, you'll press power to save it, and it will save that color. Um, or in this case, since this is all still in demo mode, I'm going to re click revert, which is the alt button. Revert. And you go revert back to your color. original color. Um, so. Edit color. And then you can go back in and edit. And again, um, it gives you just a little more control with the dynamics. So you can get those big color changes or those little subtle ones. Just by how quickly you're turning that blade. So quick, jump through everything, slow, that's going to get a little more fine tuned, and medium is kind of, medium would be the uh, normal change wheel, but it'll still take a little dialing to get the exact difference between speed and uh, angle worked out and then we do have the white and the black and it's all in one mode um, so you're going to edit uh, everything related to color in a single mode get to where you want and then save or in this Revert. case we'll revert Select. and color. I'm going to exit out Cancel. Exit. so um, still a lot to do so this is really early but I finally got both the three modes working as well as that dynamic control so that or at least the starts of the dynamic control dialing it in will still be uh, a lot more testing and stuff um, but uh, the concept is all working well. Uh, Frederick gave me a ton of help. I wouldn't have gotten here without him. Um, so, of course, big thanks to him. But uh, just wanted to show this. So this is color editing. This will be different from the color change mode. Um, and like I showed, it has three modes built into it, um, as well as the controls. Um, but still a lot, a lot more work to be done. Uh, a lot of stuff related to this is actually still being built. So uh, this isn't complete. Um, but I just wanted to show it. So this will be part of the edit mode. Um, for the upcoming OS, still no ETI on that, obviously, just because there's so much in the works. Um, but so when you go into uh, edit colors in edit mode, instead of using the color change mode uh, capabilities, this is going to be the actual color editing. Um, so uh, a lot more to come, uh, a lot more information as it gets finished out, but the controls are all working nicely. Um, it's a good start point, but definitely not the finished product. Um, as you can see, there's a couple little glitches with uh, changing the angles too quickly, um, so that's got to get sorted. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with where it is so far, and I wanted to share. So uh, lots more to come. Hope you enjoy.